Oh, man, do I have a treat for you guys here today. Uh, what you're looking at here is a tower site that is located in a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio, called North Olmstead. And it's right on the border of North Olmstead and Fairview Park and Brook Park. And this is a site that is like very, very close to the airport, Cleveland Hopkins International. It's the neighboring cell to the serving cell of, uh, of for the carriers at the airport. All right, so very, very close. Uh, let me give you guys a rundown of what's going on, why I took this image. I have a few images to show you. Just as a kind of like a precursor to this, you may have already seen the previous video, the live footage that I did, the recorded video. If you haven't seen it yet on the site, I'll go ahead and I'll put a card for it here, or this like little thing up here in the upper right hand corner. I'll put a link to the video as well in the description so that way you guys can click on it, watch it after if you like, or pause this video, watch the other one, and then come back and see this one. However you want to do it, it's fine. Anyways, uh, you will see that there are some cables here, uh, and that is because AT&T is working on this tower site. Uh, Verizon is here at the bottom. T-Mobile is in the middle. AT&T is the next one up. And then at the very top, what I initially thought was DISH. It's actually not. It actually turned out to be Sprint. So there were a couple people in the recorded video that I did for this that mentioned, hey, I don't think that's Dish. It looks like old Sprint. I think they're right because I looked closer and I got a better shot, and it's definitely not the JMA gear that we've been seeing with the Fujitsu radios from uh, Dish. The, this It looks similar from afar, but it is different when you get close. It's actually Samsung gear, So, um, <laughs> which is weird because... T-Mobile upgraded the site back in November, October and November, and then they put this Sprint gear up here like a, like a few months ago. This is really weird. Anyways, I'm just guessing they had some Sprint traffic that they had to carry, and this maybe had been up there. I have no idea. Anyways, weird. I'm expecting this to come down very soon this month or whatever. Uh, but anyways, Verizon at the bottom, T-Mobile next, AT&T next, and then Old Sprint at the top. All right, so that is for your reference. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because the upgrade for AT&T is a major one here, and I'll give you guys the details. First of all, a highlight of what Verizon did recently. The site is fully upgraded. They did a complete modernization. All right, here are a couple sets of antennas. This has mostly everything that Verizon has been using for the last majority of the decade. You have N5 DSS for 850 megahertz here, the low band. You have band 13 low band, you have band 2 PCS, you have band 66 AWS. All that stuff's in here in terms of the antennas and the radios to go with them uh, right behind them. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm guessing that's some old CD gear. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, where we want to be paying attention to is here. This is band 48. This is LTE. CBRS, uh, this is 3.55 gigahertz. This is really fast LT. The site is not active for CBRS just yet. So when I try to connect to it, it does not connect. I, I simply connect to all the other stuff. Uh, and this is actually uh, Samsung gear. Transitioned away from Nokia over to Samsung radios. All right, so that's band 48. Typically what we're seeing is between 30 and 70 megahertz of this stuff going up, and it's very fast LTE usually ranging between like 300 to 700 megabits per second from LTE. Uh, here is the N77, that is C-band for Verizon, here in the um, this part right here. And that is 3.7 gigahertz, and it's really fast. They got 60 megahertz of it. So this site probably has plenty of transport to go around, uh, probably a multi-gig circuit, I would assume, just because all the carriers have up here, and this site's been up there forever. AT&T and I believe Spectrum is out here. So I would assume that they are the fiber providers, possibly Cox. They, they could be. But there is definitely tons of capacity in the backhaul to go around here. Verizon just did this. The site is not on. I will be testing that soon once it goes live. Okay, here is the T-Mobile upgrade. This is all the low band and the traditional mid band stuff that we've seen. This one right here is N41. So this has the N71, also the band 71 LTE. This has PCS, AWS, the band 2, band 66. Uh, it, does it have anything else up there for T-Mobile? I don't think so. All right, here is where you're going to get the fast N4100 megahertz channels. Very, very fast. This site 
upgraded in October, November ish. I was getting like six, seven hundred on it. So very, very fast. Five G U C right there. Okay. Uh let's take a look at the sprint gear up here. This is why I believe that those that said this may have been sprint gear, I think they're right. Initially from afar, it does kind of look like the JMA panels we're seeing uh from Dish, right? Because it kind of has they, they they put up these the single antenna and then they put the radio two radios behind it low band and mid band so it definitely does look like it but this is where i want to kind of emphasize what we're seeing here here is at&t and on this rack the uh the major takeaways here right you got your legacy gear this has all your low band and traditional mid band your aws your pcs band 2 band 66 you have the band 12 700 megahertz you band 14 first net stuff 700 megahertz and then you also have your wcs right the um Band 30. I don't know if this site has band 29 or not. I'm not sure. All right. So all that gear is up there, but here's the biggies. Okay. These are the new ones. This is their C band gear. We have two different antennas, two different radios. You guys will see them here in the back. All right. This one at the bottom is 3.7 gigahertz. That is the same C band that Verizon has. I also believe that T Mobile has some in my market as well. I'm not sure which frequency, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. They do have some 3.7, um, and I think they have some 3.45 here as well. I I forgot about that auction for T-Mobile, but I think they have at least 20 megahertz here. This is the 3.45 gigahertz. Both of these together are the same band, N77. They're both C-band, and here it is. They are doing this in Cleveland. The newest sites are getting both of these antenna upgrades, all right, and these, these radio installations. Some sites are only getting this for now. Uh, they must have been the sites previously, you know, they, the, whatever the permits were for and stuff like that. But these other ones, these these ones that are getting the two antennas, they're probably getting more recent permit approval. So they're able to get those modifications put in for both of these. All right. So this is a Nokia market for both AT&T and for T-Mobile. So if you look back at the T-Mobile gear, it looks very similar, right? And it's just a little bit smaller, just a, just a tad bit. And if I had to describe the, the two here, the 3.7 and the 3.45, I think maybe the 3.7 antenna is also a little bit larger, maybe. Um, just kind of looks like that. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the other one's a little bit larger. Uh, but this is the 3.45. This is the 3.7. It's not on yet. I can't test it. I will be following up with another video about this. But I will tell you guys right now, the 3.45 will not be live anytime soon. That, after doing some investigation, asking some questions, internally at and we're being told that the 3.45 will not go live until Q3. That may be news to you. It's news to me. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought they were going to just start broadcasting this stuff, but it looks like they're just going to go with the 40 megahertz of 3.7 here, and then at a later time, they're going to do the 3.45, which is an additional 40 megahertz. All right, and that's going to be an 80 megahertz channel of N77 for AT&T. And at the end of the year next year, 2023, December, they'll be able to go from 40 megahertz on the N77 3.7. They're going to double that. They're going to go to 80 megahertz here. And in some places across the country, they'll be going an additional 60. So if, you, if you're doing your math at home, folks, 83.7, 43 43.4. I'm going to have 120 megahertz of N77 here for AT&T. Meanwhile, Verizon is going to be doing the following things. They're going to have 140 megahertz of N77 here. Plus, they're going to go 5G with the CBRS next year. Right, That's going to be happening. And then T-Mobile's got 160 megahertz of N41 here. There is a ton of capacity that's going to be happening here and going live on air. I'm super excited about this. I wanted to share with you guys what the upgrades look like for AT&T, show you in detail and explain what's going on from all the carriers and what they're doing. I'm expecting the sprint gear to come down. I think this should be going up there shortly. It makes sense for them to go up there, probably be at the top. And that should be um, no frills type of upgrade. It should be pretty easy for them to do. But I will be following, following up on the test here for AT&T. And then also I'm going to be following up on the Verizon gear that's here uh, right underneath. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, I'll be testing the LTE Band 48 CBRS, the N77. This is the Holy Grail, <laughs> a Holy Grail tower site. It's just missing dish. 
an upgraded site, which they could go at the top or they might even go at the bottom. But massive. It's By the way, guys, this is a really high traffic area. So many cars, a ton of homes, so much traffic. I mean, it literally is just a couple of miles away from the mall in North Olmstead, and it's a couple of miles away from the airport. And all those connections and streets and homes and businesses, I, I mean, there's like a healthcare place. There's all types of action there. This is a huge upgrade for all the carriers. I can't wait for this stuff to go live. As of right now, it's only T-Mobile, AT&T uh, soon to come, Verizon soon to come. Verizon's getting like 70 to 100 megabits on the site right now. at and is getting like 100 to 200 megabits. T-Mobile's doing like six, 700 on 5G, about 100 to 200 LTE. The Holy Grail. This is a huge, massive site. Awesome upgrades in action. What do you guys think of the upgrades? What do you think of the info I shared with you? What are you excited to see? What do you think is going to be the um, how things are going to pan out, how how the carriers are going to perform here? Very excited for this. Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle. Also, my Gmail address for all business inquiries, and my Patreon page link is in the description box. If you want to support us and get early access to content, and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.